Hi, Dr. Ball Cavage here, and welcome to my site on thyroid conditions. Today I'm going to start the, uh, a multi-part series on some of the hidden causes of thyroid symptoms that your doctor will probably never tell you about. Today we're going to talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And Hashimoto's thyroiditis is probably one of the most common causes in the United States today that is creating thyroid symptoms. Now Hashimoto's thyroiditis is one of the, is a condition in which it isn't an actual thyroid condition but an actual autoimmune condition in which your body is attacking essentially thyroid enzymes and thyroid hormones and and creating thyroid symptoms but it's not a thyroid condition it's an autoimmune condition which needs to be handled totally differently than a traditional hypothyroid condition the reason your doctor may never tell you about this condition is is that your lab levels may look normal even though you have thyroid symptoms. Uh, in another video we discussed lab, le lab values versus functional ranges for lab tests and said that the lab ranges that you see on lab tests are just too wide to really pick up some of the 24 hypothyroid patterns and that if you use functional ranges or optimal ranges that you a lot of times can find some of these conditions. If you have thyroid symptoms, and specifically hypothyroid symptoms, um, what you can do to determine if you have a Hashimoto's condition, one of the easiest things to do is when you get your thyroid test done, is to get thyroid antibodies done along with it. If your thyroid antibodies are positive, this is pretty much a confirmative test to say that you have Hashimoto's condition. And there's a specific way to handle Hashimoto's condition or Hashimoto's thyroiditis that is totally different than just putting you on thyroid medications. Matter of fact, just doing that really may make you worse and uh, not have you knowing why you're getting worse even though you're on thyroid medications. So, uh, hidden cause number one of thyroid symptoms that your doctor may never tell you about is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And if you stay tuned for a later video, I'll explain to you one of the most common foods that can create challenges with people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. All right? Have a great day. Look for another video. This is Dr. Ball Cabbage. Take care.